Hello, hello. Okay, I was tagged in a beauty tag from um, Inside Beauty with the old girl, my friend Sheila. That's the name of her channel. And I'll link her channel below. And she was, she got the tag from Robin's Beauty Over 50. Robin and I are friends too. So I'll leave her channel below. And then um, apparently, from what I understand, this tag originated from Makeup Queenie 68. I'll link her below too. I'm not one of her subscribers yet, but I, I'm going over to her channel and say hello and let her know I did this tag and subscribe to her channel because we all need to support each other, right? Okay, well, I'm going to start this because I'm going to get ready to go to the movies real soon here. I'm going to go see Star Wars. I am a huge, huge fan. So what I've been doing is watching them all in succession now, now that they're on TV. And uh, I like doing that because they make a whole lot more sense now because they were released out of order, of course. So I'm really enjoying that. And it's one thing I'm doing for my frugal year is catching up on things and watching some of the movies I really enjoy. I'm not a big movie watcher, but this year I'm probably going to start watching more movies. So anyway, here is the tag. And this is um, geared towards YouTubers. So jump right in to this tag. Whoever wants to participate that subscribed to me and would like to um, participate in this tag, Go right ahead. Uh, we, we all would like to learn from each other. I know I have a lot to learn. I learn a lot from you guys, and I really enjoy interacting with you. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so and hit the like button. It helps me out. It helps get my videos into the YouTube queue or whatever they call it. So, um, I would appreciate that and uh, I appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos and I really do love all you guys. I love this community. It's so much fun. YouTube has become a very big part of my life because I enjoy it so much. I'm not monetized. I don't make any money from making videos and uh, I just do it because I like it. So anyway, I'm going to answer a few of these questions as much as I have time for and then I will be back later to finish if I don't get through them all. Okay, question number one, where did you grow up? Well, I was born in Cologne, Germany, and I lived there with my parents and grandparents until I was four, and it was right after World War II, so there wasn't a whole lot of housing available in Germany because everything got blown up. So, uh, war is a bad thing, and I hope we never, ever have another world war. But anyway, I digress. So, I grew up there until I was four. Then my parents, we came over on the boat, literally um, off the boat, um, in 1954. And we, um, my aunt and uncle had immigrated here, so they sponsored us. And... Um, the rest is history. So I grew up in the Cleveland, Ohio area. I've, I've lived here um, the rest of my 65 years. So, but in different, in different areas of Cleveland and suburbs. And um, so that's where I grew up. Um, number two, what year did you graduate high school? I graduated high school in 1968 and uh, I don't know if I have a high school graduation picture I know I do but I'm not exactly sure where it is if I find it I will insert it um, but um, yep so that's and I graduated from Lakewood High School and that was in Lakewood Ohio we lived there for a while and uh, that's where I graduated. That's not the only high school I went to. 
I went to West High before that, and that school is no longer in existence. That was a school in Cleveland, and that was uh, demolished years ago. Okay, number three, what was the makeup trend the year you graduated? I don't know if you guys remember Bonnie Bell, but that was huge when I was in high school. And Bonnie Bell um, was actually the daughter of the man who owned the company, and the company was actually uh, in Lakewood, Ohio. It's not there anymore, but the funny thing is my daughter works uh, right in the building where Bonnie Bell was. It was like right across the street. So uh, now I think it's a restaurant or something. But uh, Bonnie Bell, yeah, that was huge when I was in high school and when I graduated. And they were actually your very fresh-faced girl next door kind of look. It wasn't big, heavy makeup or anything like that. But um, that's what everybody was into was Bonnie Bell. What was the makeup trend the year you graduated? Well, um, oh, I just did that one, sorry. Number four, what was the hair trend the year you graduated? Um, well, there were two different kinds. One was either the hippie look where you parted your hair in the middle and, and it was long and that's kind of how I wore my hair. And the other look was more, um, you know, all ratted up and, and, and like a helmet. So um, those were kind of the two trends. And there were sort of two different group, uh, groups. You had the collegiates, which kind of wore their hair like this. And then you had the uh, greasers, they called them. And, you know, they did, the guys had the slick back hair and the girls had all the, they wore a lot of makeup. The collegiates, not so much. But they all, you know, had more makeup and uh, the, the ratted up hair and everything. So those were kind of the two trends that were trending back when I was in high school and when I graduated. I'll be right back. Okay, I had to let my doggies out or in. They were out. So anyway, that was the hair trend back there and the makeup trend. Uh, what was your first car? I had a black Chevy Nova. It was an old old car. It wasn't new. And actually, my, my boyfriend at the time, I was um, 16 or 17, I can't quite remember, who later was my husband because we were high school sweethearts, and now he's my ex-husband and good friend. Uh, he bought me that car, and I drove the car for a little while, and for some reason... I hated that car. There was something really creepy about it that I just didn't like. It gave me the willies. So we sold the car and um, my uh, boyfriend at the time, he, um, he ended up selling it to somebody he worked with. And actually this was already when, when we were out of high school. Okay, we were out of high school already. And he ended up selling the car to a young man that he worked with. And this is really a sad story, and I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but um, the fella that bought it, you know, he was young, and, you know, young people like speed. So you know where I'm going with this, right? Yep, he totaled the car, and he had some other young people with him. And um, I think four of them, they, they died. So anyway, enough of that Debbie Downer story. But that was my first car. And I don't know why I had all those creepy feelings about that car, but true story. So anyway, uh, what was your senior prom song? I have no idea. I really don't. Um, have to pass on that one because I don't know. I mean, back then, you know, the Beach Boys were big and, and um, the Association and um, um, I can't even think of any more groups, but oh, uh, the, the Doors, they were like, I adored the Doors. They were like my favorite group back there. 
Um, so, and, and the English invasion was still going on, so there was a lot of that. A lot of different music. There was still Motown, all those things. So, um, that's what was going on then. All kinds of dog shenanigans going on over here. I have a gate so they don't go upstairs. They know they're not allowed upstairs. But for some reason, the little one will, if I don't close it right all the way, the little one will open it and then they all run upstairs and check it out up there. So I had to go get them. And the reason they don't go upstairs is because they are just so hairy. It's unbelievable the hair that I get. Well, if you have dogs, you know. Anyway, doggy shenanigans. So I may get through this list. Let me see, where was I? Um, number seven, what was your typical Saturday night? Um, back then, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Big Boy, but it, back then it was Manners Big Boy. And they still had um, the things where they would deliver to the car and things like that. So we used to hang out there a lot. It was a big hangout in Lakewood, was their local Manners restaurant. Um, so we used to go to Bob's Big Boy and hang out there. And, you know, we used to eat the, um, what was the name of their burger? with their special sauce, uh, Big Boy. Bob's Big Boy, I guess. I guess it was the Big Boy. But anyway, we used to do that a lot and, you know, cruise and, and hang out with friends and, you know. So that's what went on on a typical Saturday night. Uh, how did you wear your makeup as a teen? I didn't wear a lot of makeup as a teen. I maybe had some mascara and some, you know, lip gloss or something like that. And uh, nothing much has changed. You know, maybe a little eyeshadow. My favorite eyeshadow color was teal. I loved teal eyeshadow. And I still remember I had a teal eye makeup. Um, I think it was L'Oreal. I can't remember exactly the brand, but that was my very favorite eyeshadow. So that's what I wore, um, or no makeup at all, one or the other. Were you always into makeup, beauty, and style? Um, I always like to look stylish. You know, I mean, I wore my hair, like I said, more like the hippie look. Um, I was never a hippie in the regard of, you know, the, the drugs and the free love and, and all that. But um, as far as the look goes, um, I like that look. So I was kind of into that look a little bit. You know, I had the, the suede vest with the fringes and the bell-bottom pants and I wore the mini skirts and, you know, so that's. That was what I liked, and I'm still an old hippie. <laughs> and I still don't do the drugs and the free love and all that stuff, but inside my heart lives an old hippie. So number 10, was there a specific reason why you started your channel? Um, I started this channel because I watched YouTube a lot, and I thought it was really fun. And it was like, you can do this, you know, and uh, I like taking pictures. And it was a little daunting when I first turned on the camera. And it's like, uh, you know, the deer in the headlight look. But I've become very comfortable with it now. So I really, really enjoy having my YouTube channel. But I guess I did it because I like to try new things, and it was something I hadn't done before. And I thought, eh, that'd be cool. There's a lot of older people here that make videos. I can do this. So that's why I started my YouTube channel. And I wanted to share a lot of information that I learned, and I wanted to learn from you guys, and, um, and the rest is history. 
how do others react when you tell them about your channel? Um, it's funny because the older people, it's like, yeah, that's nice. You know, they don't react too much. But the younger people, they think it's really cool. It's like, oh, cool. You have a YouTube channel? What's the name of your YouTube channel? And one of my biggest fans is my grandson, Damien. He watches my YouTube channel all the time. And, you know, he even texts me once in a while. And it's like, yay, you're up to this many subscribers and things. So I think that's really cool. So anyway, that's how people react to my YouTube channel. Um, what is your favorite thing to talk about, makeup or skincare? Well, I have a couple of videos up about makeup and skincare and things that I do, but I mostly talk about my life and things I do and money and how I you know, I mean, it's sort my channel isn't specifically a beauty channel, although I do um, have some of that on my channel, but my channel is more a lifestyle channel. So it, in, it encompasses a lot of different things that whirl around my in my world. So um, I skincare wise, I was always fortunate that I had good skin. Um, then when I was in my late, or my, my mid thirties, I would say, I stopped going in the sun. You know, I used to tan when I was in my twenties and things, and I always tanned really dark. So I, I did do that, but then it's like, eh, I don't wanna look like a prune when I'm, you know, 40. So I stopped going in the sun and I started taking more care of my skin. And then I discovered, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Obagi, th that skincare system, but I used that for a lot of years. And honest to God, that was the best skincare system I've ever used. The reason I stopped using it was because it was pricey. But I'm seriously thinking about once I use up all the things I have now, I'm seriously thinking about going back to the Obagi. And uh, the only other thing that I've used like forever is the Avon and New uh, Eye Duo. I love that stuff. I mean, for my age, I don't have a lot of bags and things under my eyes. And the reason it's a duo is because it's for under eye and it's also for on top of your eye. So I really, for a while, I quit using it and I really saw a big difference. So when I started up uh, using it again, um, I, I like those two things. Those two are my favorite beauty products. Um, and makeup, I really don't have a lot of different looks that I do. I pretty much do what I do. So um, probably skincare if I have to choose between the two. Um, what is your favorite thing about being a beauty YouTuber? Well, I think I just answered that question. I'm not really a beauty YouTuber, um, unless you think I'm a beauty. Just kidding. Um, but my channel's more a lifestyle. Uh, what is the most challenging thing about being an over 50 beauty YouTuber? Um, the most challenging thing to me about being a YouTuber is uh, editing. You know, I still don't have an editor that I really like. I kind of use the one that comes with Windows 10 and it has its issues. Um, it freezes up, It, you know, it's, it's not real great, but it's simple. So I would like just a simple editor. I, I don't need a racehorse, you know, I just need simple. So if any of you have any suggestions, and I don't want to pay a lot for it. I don't mind paying a little bit, but I don't want to pay a lot for it. So if any of you guys have a suggestion about what's great uh, and simple, keyword being simple, uh, please let me know below. And um, because I do enjoy editing, um, but yeah. You know, I don't, I don't want to have to read a manual this thick to edit my videos. So anyway, 
Okay, number 15, only a couple more. What advice would you give your 30-year-old self about skincare or makeup? Um, I think the thing that I would give myself advice about is to um, guard your skin when you're younger, which I kind of did by staying out of the sun. So, you know, that, that was actually a smart thing that I did when I was in my 30s. But I don't even know if it was available back then. But I would tell myself to start using the Obagi sooner than I did because I started using that um, when I was in my um, early 50s, I think it was. So I don't know if it was around before then, but that's what I would tell myself. Number 16, what is your favorite um, beauty uh, and skincare tip, I guess, that, that, that I want to share uh, for ladies over 50? I would say no heavy makeup, you know, no, no heavy, heavy makeup, because um, it doesn't, it doesn't make you any more attractive. I mean, older people, I love the character in their face anyway. I don't mind wrinkles and lines and, um, you know, in, in trying to cover it up too much. It just, um, I think it looks better just Less is more, let me put it that way. That's what I would advise, less is more. A little bit to enhance, to make yourself look more awake, because sometimes when you don't wear makeup, you look like you're gonna be ready to take a nap, but less is more, that's what I would recommend. Okay, and last, tag at least two 50 plus YouTubers. I'm not going to tag anybody, but I am going to do a shout out to two YouTubers that I really enjoy watching. And one of them um, is Little Poet, and I'm sure most of you know, know Little Poet, Susan over there. Um, I just like her video. She's, she's very artistic and she's just a really pretty woman. And um, I enjoy her channel and her little dog, Desi. And then the second beauty YouTuber that I would tag would be uh, Beauty by Anne Marie. She has so many good skincare tips and, and recommendations on skincare and things. And I'll leave their link below too. So that's it. I got to go. Um, so I did get through all of it. So anyway, that's my tag. Thank you, Sheila, for tagging me. And um, Sheila and I would like to do a collab of some sort. Uh, is I'm going to ask you guys, is there something that you would like to see where um, maybe Sheila and I could do a collab about? Um, I'd like some suggestions. Um, so if you want to, leave me a comment below. And I got to go. And I love you guys. I wish you abundant blessings. And I'll see you next time. 